Happy Palm Sunday, First Church. I am here with one of my good friends, Ellie. Ellie, would you just take a minute to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Ellie Hartzler. And uh, what grade are you in? Where do you go to school? Oh, I'm in eighth grade and I go to Esperanza. Awesome. And I had seen, um, your, your mom Lori had told me about a book that you made. And you, as you know, we're celebrating Women's History Month, right? Yeah. Um, so tell me about the book that you made and, and how it came to be. Um, I started this book in quarantine. I found an old sketchbook that I had in my room. And it was, I was trying to finish it before um, Women's History Month, but didn't really get to it that much. But I started it in quarantine because I was really bored and we weren't doing much in school because we were all online. <laughs> so this is just something I could do to get away from the screen. Mm. Great. And it shows your creativity. I mean, I wish you could be here in person to see this book, but there are, it is just filled with powerful stories of different women um, like Lupita Nyong'o and Marilyn Monroe and Margaret Thatcher um, with just wonderful artwork all done by Ellie. Um, and just, you know, I'm not artistic at all, so it just amazes me that you can do things like this. So um, two of the pages that really struck me that I wanted to hear from you about is, of course, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, or RBG as she's affectionately known, um, tell me what you, why you picked RBG. Why is she a powerful woman in your mind, and, and what made you choose her? Um, I chose RBG because ever since we watched the RBG movie, and because she's just been one of those people who I've looked up to because first woman on the Supreme Court, and just uh, how powerful she was when she um, when she died, mm -hmm. and how she used her words very wisely. Yeah. I love, too, that her personal trainer, you know, had her keep exercising all the way to the end. I mean, she lived to serve other people, and I just, I love that example. Um, and one other person that I saw in your book, Ellie, that I didn't even know about is a woman named Dorothy Height. Um, and what do you know about her, and, and why did you choose her? I chose her from when I was looking at the Black Lives Matter protests, and she was popping up with all her quotes on Instagram, so I thought she would be a good person to put in my book, so that's what I did. Awesome. I watched a video about her today and learned uh, quite a bit about her, but um, the quote that you used on here I want to read for, so that everyone can enjoy, um, but it says, her quote from Dorothy Height says, I want to be remembered as somebody who used herself and anything she could touch to work for justice and for freedom. Um, so I want to use my whole life to be remembered for my work for justice and freedom. Um, and I think that, you know, as we celebrate Palm Sunday this weekend, where Jesus goes into, uh, makes his way to Jerusalem, and he ends up um, eventually getting crucified, you know, um, I feel like his whole life was dedicated to justice and freedom. Um, and so I feel like he and Dorothy have that in common. Do you see kind of where that yeah. connects also? Yeah, so, you know, just a different way to, uh, you know, that powerful women have been made a difference in history. Um, and, you know, so many of these, the women in this book, uh, you know, have given so much for the same thing to, you know, give tons of energy and give their entire lives for um, the promotion of justice and for freedom. So, um, Thanks for sharing this. And, you know, I know you have a list of, of women that you want to continue to fin finish filling out the book of, right? People like Indira Gandhi, um, Gloria Vanderbilt, um, Carol Lombard, uh, Margaret Cho, all who have made an impact in history, right? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing your book with us today.